Hey friends, McFarland here, going to give you a Lake Fork rundown for this week. So it's already Thursday, um, but let's go to the board. So Monday and Tuesday, I was off. I had basically three days in a row off, which is really cool. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, um, going to have a lot of that now. We're in August, we're in the slow time of the year, about 50% the rest of the year. So I promise you, I'm still going to try to at least once a week bring you some kind of report. So those of you that are still wanting to fish, especially on the weekends, you're going to get some information. Okay. First day for me this week was Wednesday. Wednesday was actually a sonar lesson, a two-hour sonar class from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Identifying what are we seeing on the water, teach you how to use and make waypoints, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, the water temperature Wednesday morning was 85 degrees, 85.7, about 9 o'clock when we came off, okay? The visibility, still about 1.2 feet in the main lake. The backwaters are turning brown. The more north I go, the more brown and the water does begin to begin much more hot, up in the upper 80s and 90s, and again, a darker brown color. Let's talk about lake levels real quick. I was off Monday and Tuesday, but I went ahead and got the lake level for Tuesday. We had a bunch of rain that hit pretty hard Tuesday afternoon. So between Tuesday and Wednesday, the lake came up one one hundredths. I think that would be a yeah, one one hundredths of an inch, whatever that is, um, of a foot, maybe. I don't even know. But you can see it was 402.20 on Tuesday, 402.21 on Wednesday. So a little intermediate lake rise just for a brief afternoon. We come to today, 85.3 degrees this morning. Half day fishing trip came off the water at 11 a.m. 85.7 when we came off. 1.2 foot visibility, 402.17. Folks, if you go all the way back to last Saturday, which is almost a week away, it's 402.29 last Saturday. Okay? 402.29 and 402.17. Man, that's not even an inch. Well, it's just a tiny bit more than an inch. I apologize. It is an inch. It's about an inch and maybe an inch and a half in lake level in a whole week almost from Saturday to Thursday. Um, so we're actually having an extremely stable lake level during this summer. Much more mild temperatures. And let's just tell you about the fishing. This morning was not an actual guide trip. It was just a great friend of mine, Mr. Joe Coker. You can find him on YouTube at Fork Lunker Man. Okay. Um, he's Fork Lunker Man on YouTube. But Joe came out with me this morning, brought the cameras, and we caught him. We didn't catch any big ones, no giants. Joe boated a Lake Fork special on a really cool drop shot rig with some new gamma line that he's using. At least a new gamma to me. I've heard of gamma line, but it's a new setup, and I think I'm going to incorporate that into what I do. Um, Joe proved to me today that you can land those bigger fish with it. Um, but anyways, we filmed today. It was fun. The bite was pretty good. Morning bite was good. Had a strong southwest wind, a little stronger than I wanted. Um, I started off throwing the football jig. They wouldn't eat it today. I got to the Santone stand-up shaky head with the Magnum trick worm and the African special. Started catching fish right away. In fact, I think I had a couple back to backs. Um, later in the morning when they begin to get finicky, I went to the Santone finesse jig. Rage craw chunks for the uh, for the craws, and that's in the color natural craw. Okay, um, that's a seven sixteenths ounce, so it's almost a half ounce finesse jig. Basically, fishing shell beds, wind blown shell beds, and deep brush piles. But the brush piles also needed to be wind blown. Today was all about the wind. If you fished the wrong side of the lake, the opposite side of the lake, you didn't get bit. Um, other than that, guys, listen. We filmed today. So Joe will take this home and actually put together a fishing show. Um, many of you have asked, hey, we want to see more of Michael fishing. Well, that's just what you got to see today. In fact, I even boat flip a few of them for you. Um, MLF style, they don't touch the carpet. <laughs> Anyways, it was an awesome time. And I hope that you go find Fork, Lunker Man, or myself, which you already know me, the Lake Fork Guide, Michael McFarland. Find us on YouTube and be watching In the next couple days. You're going to see a fishing show come out. All right. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. Give me the thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Comments below. Any questions below. Hey, some titles for topics. 
It really helped me out. They gave me some great ideas for things to talk about. What do you want to learn about? If I don't know about it, I'll do some homework and give you my best analogy of what I truly think with conviction. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Somebody catch some big ones this weekend on the Goat Lake, Lake Fork in Northeast Texas. I'm Mike McFarland, giving you a Lake Fork Rundown. Thank <laughs> you.